Hi guys, Doug Rose here, and this is the all new Pegasus 2 from Promise. Now, this is the very first Thunderbolt 2 start device on the market. If you're noticing, I'm holding it, the big box here with my one arm. That's not because I'm strong, because in the empty box. Because the actual device itself is so heavy, I do need both arms. Right here. And now I'm gonna skip the jeep. Now this particular one here is the Pegasus 2 R8 because it have eight internal drive on the inside. There's also the R4 and R6 that have a four or six drive on the inside respectively. Now this one here is the upgrade to the previous Pegasus drive such as the R6 that I also have right here. There you go. You know, I'm really gonna skip the gym today like I did yesterday. Now the only difference between the two is this one here support Thunderbolt and this one right here support Thunderbolt 2. On the back here you're going to see there are two Thunderbolt ports. You only need one to make it work with a computer but the other one you can use to connect another Thunderbolt device to it. You can daisy chain about six devices together without performance degradation. Now at 20 gigabit per second Thunderbolt 2 is very fast but there's a catch. You do need new computers that support it. And for that reason, I have to use this brand new MacBook Pro with Retina screen here to test it instead of the other MacBook Pro that's just slightly less new. Now in my testing, the Pegasus 2 here was actually very fast, offering the sustained real-world speed of some 360 megabyte per second for writing and some 380 megabyte per second for reading. That is actually very fast and almost double that of the older Pegasus. Now this device here is a hardware RAID system and that means you can configure its internal drive into all the RAID configuration available for the amount of drives it has. For example, the R8 here support RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 10, RAID 5, RAID 6 and RAID 5.0. It includes a software utility for you to manage and build the RAID. It's very easy to do. It's also very easy to replace the drive by yourself on the front right here. And despite the large size and also very large fans here on the back, it's actually very quiet. Now, the Pegasus 2 is clearly a desktop storage device and it didn't work very well with the laptop in the sense that when the laptop goes to sleep mode, it would disconnect by itself and when the machine wakes up, it would not reconnect by itself. The only way for you to reconnect it, you have to unplug from power and plug it back in. In an always on environment, that is not a big deal, but for that, you need a Mac Pro, which is a lot more expensive than the MacBook Pro. Now, for most consumers, I would say that this sort of device is overkill, but if you want speed or edit 4K video in real time, this is it. You'd be very happy with it. In a sense, the proof that money cannot really buy happiness unless it's a few thousand dollars. And that's because a few thousand dollars is exactly what you need to get it. Now this top tier R8 here costs some 4600 for 32 terabyte or 3600 dollars for 24 terabyte. You can also offer the R6 or the R4 for as low as 1500 for 8 terabyte. Now for more on this, check out my full review at set.com and since this is my last video of 2013, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year everybody. And you're gonna see me next year and you're gonna be happy that you do. And that's because I'm Dong Ngo, and this has been the first look at the Pegasus 2 from Parmes.